Welcome to Ace My Exams Learning. Let us get started with today's learning. Cells, the basic unit of life. All living organisms are made up of basic functional units called cells. Each cell contains specialized structures known as organelles that work together to perform the various functions required for survival and growth. Each cell contains a variety of organelles, which are specialized structures that carry out specific functions, allowing the cell to operate effectively. Key organelles and their functions include the cell wall, cell membrane, and others which we're going to discuss in more detail. The cell wall. The cell wall is a rigid, non-living layer located outside the cell membrane, enclosing and protecting the cell. This structure is found only in plant cells, distinguishing them from animal cells, which lack a cell wall. The cell wall's primary layer, known as the primary cell wall, is situated on the outer side of the cell membrane. Functions of the cell wall The cell wall performs the following functions. 1. Support and protection. The cell wall acts as a support structure, safeguarding the internal, living contents of the plant cell. 2. Rigidity. It provides rigidity and structural integrity to the plant cell, helping it maintain shape and resist external pressures. 3. Permeability. The cell wall is fully permeable to water and mineral salts, allowing essential substances to pass freely through to the cell membrane. Cell membrane. The cell membrane is an essential part of every cell, forming the outer living boundary of the cytoplasm. This structure is present in all plant and animal cells. According to the fluid mosaic model, the cell membrane consists of a double layer of phospholipid molecules with large protein molecules embedded within the layer. These phospholipids create a barrier that is semi-permeable, meaning it only allows certain substances to pass through. The embedded protein molecules play an important role in the membrane's function and help the cell interact with its environment. Structure of the cell membrane The structure of the cell membrane is explained by the fluid mosaic model. The term mosaic is used because the proteins create a unique pattern within the phospholipid layers. This design allows the cell membrane to be both strong and flexible, helping it protect the cell and regulate what moves in and out. The proteins in the membrane help with different functions, like moving substances in and out and sending signals between cells. Movement of substances. Cells utilize different processes to transport substances across their membranes, maintaining internal balance and supporting various cellular functions. These include diffusion, osmosis, and active transport. 1. Diffusion. Diffusion is the natural movement of molecules from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. It is a passive process, meaning it does not require energy from the cell. This process is essential for allowing important gases, such as oxygen and carbon dioxide to move in and out of the cell freely. By enabling this movement, diffusion supports crucial cellular processes like respiration and helps the cell maintain balance with its surroundings. 2. Osmosis Osmosis refers to the movement of water molecules from an area of high water potential to an area of low water potential through a selectively permeable membrane. Like diffusion, osmosis is a passive process that does not require energy. Osmosis is vital for maintaining the water balance within cells. For example, plant cells use osmosis to absorb water from the soil and transport it to the leaves. This movement of water helps keep plant cells firm, supporting their structure, and allowing the plant to stay hydrated and grow properly. 3. Active transport. Active transport is the movement of molecules from an area of low concentration to an area of high concentration, going against the concentration gradient. Unlike diffusion and osmosis, active transport requires energy, usually in the form of ATP, because the cell must work against the natural flow of molecules. This process is crucial for absorbing nutrients such as ions and minerals, even when these substances are in lower concentrations outside the cell. Active transport helps cells gather the materials they need to function properly, 
despite external conditions. The ATP, or adenosine triphosphate, is a molecule that serves as the primary energy source for cells. In the context of active transport, ATP provides the energy required for cells to move ions and other nutrients across their membranes, especially when these substances are in lower concentrations outside the cell. Active transport relies on ATP to power the movement of these substances against their concentration gradients, allowing cells to absorb essential materials needed for proper function. The Fluid Mosaic Model The fluid mosaic model, as illustrated in the diagram, depicts the cell membrane as a flexible, dynamic structure composed of a phospholipid bilayer, hydrophilic heads, hydrophobic tails, proteins, and carrier proteins. The model illustrates the structure and function of the cell membrane, emphasizing its flexibility and varied composition. It shows how the membrane functions as a dynamic barrier made up of phospholipids, proteins, and other molecules, allowing it to control the passage of substances in and out of the cell. Let's take a closer look at the components of the fluid mosaic model. 1. Phospholipids Phospholipids are unique molecules that form the basic structure of the cell membrane. Each phospholipid has two distinct parts, namely the hydrophilic phosphate group head that is attracted to water and two hydrophobic fatty acid tails that repel water. 1. The hydrophilic phosphate group head The hydrophilic phosphate group, or head of each phospholipid, is water-attracting, which helps the membrane interact with its watery surroundings. This head faces outward in the bilayer, oriented toward the watery cytoplasm, on one side, and the extracellular fluid on the other. This outward-facing arrangement keeps the membrane stable within the cell's aqueous environment, allowing it to interact smoothly with both the inside and outside of the cell while maintaining structural integrity. 2. Hydrophobic fatty acid tails the hydrophobic fatty acid tails are the tails of each phospholipid molecule and are water-repelling. These tails are positioned inward, away from water, in the center of the phospholipid bilayer. Because they avoid water, these tails form a non-polar barrier that restricts the movement of water-soluble polar substances, creating a selectively permeable membrane. This inward-facing orientation of the tails is crucial for the cell's control over what can pass through the membrane. Only specific substances, like small, nonpolar molecules, can easily cross this barrier, while larger or charged molecules require assistance from transport proteins. 3. Proteins in the membrane Proteins embedded in the phospholipid bilayer give the cell membrane its mosaic quality, with each type of protein playing a specific role in the cell's functions. Let's look at how each protein type helps the cell to interact with its environment and regulate the movement of substances. Integral proteins. Integral proteins span the entire membrane and act as channels or transporters, allowing essential molecules like ions and nutrients to cross from one side of the membrane to the other. These proteins are critical for transporting substances that cannot pass through the membrane on their own. Peripheral proteins Peripheral proteins are located on either the inner or outer surface of the membrane. They are involved in cell signaling, structural support, and interactions with other cells. These proteins help maintain the cell's shape and play a key role in communication with the cell's environment. Carrier proteins Carrier proteins are a specialized type of integral protein, specifically responsible for transporting certain molecules across the membrane. These proteins bind to specific molecules, such as glucose or ions, and change shape to move them through the membrane. Carrier proteins facilitate the cell's selective permeability, ensuring that only necessary molecules can enter or exit the cell, while unwanted substances are blocked to maintain a stable internal environment that allows the cell to function efficiently. To access more learning and exam preparation materials, go to www.acemyexams.coza. This link is also in the video description below. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe and be the first to know when we upload new videos.